Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Ventura TV. I'm Sandra Cepak. On today's show, we're welcoming Vanessa Rauschenberger. She is the general manager for the Gold Coast Transit District here in Ventura County. Welcome to the show, Vanessa. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Tell us about the Gold Coast Transit District and how your transit district serves the people here on a daily basis. Sure. Thank you for having me on your show today. I'm excited to talk about Gold Coast Good. Transit District and the cities we serve. Um, Gold Coast Transit is the public transit provider for Western Ventura County. We serve the cities of Ojai, Oxnard, Port Wainimi, the city of Ventura, and the county unincorporated areas that connect all between those cities. So pretty much all of Western Ventura County. Okay. We uh, have operated in the community for um, almost 50 years, wow. and we've, we're formally known as South Coast Area Transit. Some of you remember that name. Mm -hmm. um, we have a fleet of 87 vehicles, 61 full-size green and blue buses that you see traversing your city streets, and a smaller fleet of 27 uh, paratransit smaller vans that provide senior um, transportation services for people with disabilities. And also recently, we launched a new late night safe rides on demand service. We um, serve all of the community. So we're open to anybody to use our public transit. Um, you can board our buses at um, one of the 600 bus stops around the community um, that list uh, routes and we're on our 20, 20, 20 routes. And you can ride pretty much uh, seven days a week from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. Um, and now up to late, our late night service now up to midnight. Uh, we're very happy to provide the service and we, um, you know, want to make sure that as many people know about it as possible. Good. With gas prices on the rise, many people are now looking to public transportation as an alternative and they want to now experience taking public transit, maybe for the first time. So how are you uh, working to grow, uh, you know, the ridership and being flexible with bus transit schedules and services uh, that are easier to use? Okay. Well, um, public transit has always been, uh, for many cities, you know, in the world, um, an affordable and easy way for right. people to get around. But, you know, here in Ventura County, I think a lot of people feel that riding the bus takes, you know, a very long time. It may be slower than driving. Uh, it may be, um, you know, not, they may not know where to get on a bus where the bus stops are. Um, you know, but I'm here to share that, you know, if you visit our, our, our website, um, um, gctd.org, you can easily look at our um, system maps and see where the nearest stop is near to you. We have a trip planner there that makes it easy to type in your address and your destination. And um, just like you would on your, if you were driving somewhere, your uh, Google map will pop up with uh, directions, uh, what routes to take. Um, we make the fare very affordable. So $1.50 to, to ride the bus. And what, we're, we're, what we've offered recently um, over the last few years to make it easier, we've offered mobile ticketing apps to make paying the fare easier. That can be sometimes a barrier for people if they're not sure how to board the bus and pay the fare. Um, simply download the app, show the driver and get, get on the bus. And our focus with our services is has what we've heard from customers through our surveys and reaching out to riders is that the most important thing to them is the, the time. So the frequency of the buses, the speed of the buses. And over the last couple of years, we have really worked to um, consolidate bus stops where we can do some routing um, to make buses faster, make um, travel faster. So you know, I really encourage people to take a look at the map, um, see how close the bus stop is to where they live, and maybe try it once a week. Um, try it for a trip on the weekend with your with your grandkids or your your kids on a on a um, an outing, and make it a fun family excursion and get just get out there and give it a try. And I I would assume you have a lot of tourists that use the bus lines too. Mix of all kinds of people who who use um. The, the transit system sure. okay. um, uh, at all days of the week 
people going to work in uh, our, you know, um, healthcare, people right. who work in um, food service, um, okay. tourists, college students. Yes. Uh, we recently worked with the Ventura County Transportation Commission to uh, partner with them and they and their their initiative to offer free rides for college students. And so just like on the streets in your community, everyone uses it. So does public transit. Everyone, everyone uses it. Good to know. Are you working to make sure that the transit service keeps up with the changing times and the needs of the community, which you're mentioning, you know, bus routes and things like that. So uh, I'm assuming that is due to the change that the community needs as well. Yes. So, you know, during the pandemic, um, like all transit agencies, we saw a steep decline in use of public transit, okay. uh, people staying home to stay safe. Sure. And as people return to using public transit and return out to uh, what we, you know, back to normal daily life, right. um, we're seeing some changes in people's travel habits and, and travel needs. And one of the things that we're especially proud of is our responsiveness to the needs of people traveling late at night. Uh, this past year, we launched a pilot service. Um, it's on demand uh, within an hour will take you for $2 anywhere in Western Ventura County from okay. door to door. So you don't have to wait at a bus stop at nighttime. And we found that to be extremely popular. We're carrying over 800 people a month on the new late night service. And um, that is one of the ways we're responding to the changing needs that people have. Um, if they use the bus in the daytime, they might use the late night service to get home. Um, you know, not having to wait at a, at a dark spot or walk down a dark street. Again, open to everyone. It's not limited to age or, or disability. Anyone can use it. And it's a very affordable way to get around. Um, one of the other things that we're doing to make transit even more accessible is um, making sure that people can get real-time arrival information. Uh, we recently installed a new system on our buses that provides that real-time uh, bus information. So you could wait in the comfort of your home, um, nice. look at your phone app and um, walk right out to the bus stop right as the bus arrives without having to kind of wonder and, and uh, wait for that bus. Um, those are the kinds of things that I think people are expecting out of a modern transit system and that we're work working to provide. Good to know. Uh, you mentioned um, those with disabilities. So just if you can touch on briefly, uh, what types of services you have for those that would like to take public transportation and may need more information should they be disabled? Sure. So anybody who has a mobility disability, whether it's a short-term you know, disability or a long-term disability or just needs some extra assistance, yeah. I'm proud to say all of our services are accessible from our fixed route buses. Um, they have spaces for um, two wheelchair uh, wheelchairs that can board on the buses. Uh, we have flip up seats for people who have uh, mobility devices like walkers and who can sit up front priority seating. Um, we also have a curb to curb service called go access. Okay. And that service is available um, all throughout the day for people to call up and uh, a smaller bus or van will show up to their home. Okay. Um, we yeah. have uh, friendly operators who will help assist people um, you know, into the vehicle um, and then we'll take them where they need to go. And that's a shared accessible service uh, for three dollars a ride. That's um, um, yeah. by, by reservation. Um, and then, you know, just in terms of how people can get information, um, we have a, a staff customer service um, call center where you okay. can call us. Um, uh, um, seven or five days a week um, to get information. And uh, the number for that is 487-4222. You can also reach us online at um, Gold Coast Transit, gctd.org and send us an email um, or reach out to us on social media. Uh, and we we'll, we'll have staff who monitor that and can pr provide information in that way as well. Very good. Um, what are the plans for the future? Uh, transitioning, especially like to zero emissions, um, things like that for the buses. Um, if you can touch on that briefly before we end the show. Sure. I'm excited to say we purchased our first uh, battery electric 
small van that we'll be okay. using to um, offer a new service later this year called Microtransit uh, okay. that we'll be testing out. Um, that's the first of uh, first vehicle on a long road to transition for our fleet. Um, our board of directors um, at Gold Coast Transit District has committed to meeting uh, the California Air Resources Board um, goal of going zero emissions by 2040. And so as we replace vehicles, we'll be looking to replace them with zero emission vehicles um, over the next um, several years. And we're looking into two types of technology that's available, battery electric or hydrogen fuel cell buses. Okay. And so we'll be testing those two types of buses and making a determination um, uh, over uh, which type of bus to purchase as we, as we go forward. Um, right now, the hydrogen fuel cell looks to be promising based on the range that we need for our longer haul routes. Um, but we'll be testing that out and we'll be um, rolling, committed to um, uh, looking for funding, grant funding to make those purchases in the future. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing so much today about the Gold Coast Transit District. I want to thank you, Vanessa Rauschenberger, uh, the general manager, for sharing all this good information that many people can access through your website, if you want to say that one more time. Sure. Um, please visit us online, www.gctd.org. Um, we have a brand new website that we're excited to share. It's accessible, has all of the information on the services and programs I mentioned. I hope that you will Good. take a look at it and uh, reach out to us and give our services a, a try. Great. Thank you so very much for joining us today on the show. And thank all of you for joining us on our Ventura TV. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, everyone.